Chapter 11, Lesson 1. How can you identify and classify polygons? Unlock the problem. The Castel del Monte in Apulia, Italy was built more than 750 years ago. The fortress has one central building with eight surrounding towers. Which polygon do you see repeated in the structure? How many sides, angles, and vertices does this polygon have? Press pause, squiggle underline what you're being asked to find, and circle any information that is important to it. So I'm asked actually to find two things. The first one is which polygon do I see repeated in the structure? And then the second one is how many sides, angles, and vertices does this polygon have? To answer this, we also need to know that the fortress has eight, there's eight surrounding towers. So really there's like eight different points, especially in this picture right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to remember that a polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that meet at points called vertices. It is named by the number of sides and angles it has. And to identify the repeated polygon in the fortress, we need to complete the tables below. Now that paragraph right here, the second paragraph, has a lot of information for us to remember. So the polygon says it's a closed plane figure. So that means that there's one, two, there's three sides, but are they all connected? They're, they are not connected. So this right here is not a polygon. A polygon has to have at least three sides connected so that there's like no openings. Vertices are the points where the sides come together. And one uh, vertices, if there's, well, one of vertices is called a vertex. So that's one corner, one point. So let's go ahead and fill in our table below so that we can start to identify what shape we are seeing in this um, fortress more than one time. So a triangle has three sides, and the sides are just the straight lines. And so there's three sides. How many angles? Remember, an angle is where two lines come together. And in this case, like, and this is the symbol they use for angles. So a triangle has three angles. And then how many vertices does it have? How many points does it have? It also has three points. Something to notice is that tri, T-R-I, means three. And next we have a quadrilateral, which quad means four. So it has four sides. We can count that right here. This one, this one. And so there's four sides. How many angles are there? There's one, two, three, four angles. And then how many vertices? There are four. The next one is a pentagon. Pent means five. So how many sides does it have? Count them up, five. How many angles? One, two, three, four, five. They don't all have to be acute. There can be obtuse angles. And how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five. Hexagon, hex means six. So how many sides are there? Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many angles? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's scoot this down so we can see. And we can see right here, um, real quick, with the math idea, that sometimes the angles inside the polygon are greater than 180. 
And so that would be like on this pentagon right here. So press pause and fill in the rest of this table. And hept, oct, nana, and dec are going to also be some prefixes that we'll talk about. Okay, so hept means seven, oct means eight, nana means nine, deca means ten. This is how the rest of your table should look. So now, remember, looking at our picture, it had eight towers, eight surrounding towers, eight surrounding towers, one at each vertice, really, each straight line comes together. So, what is the repeated polygon? It is the octagon is the repeated polygon because it has eight sides, eight angles, and eight vertices. Something to notice here is what pattern do you see among the number of sides, angles, and vertices a polygon has? Well, they always have the same number of sides or, and vertices, and it's based on their prefix, which is based on the number of sides they have. So DECA 10 has 10 sides, angles, and vertices. Now talking about two classifications of polygons. There's the regular polygons. We need to know the definition for congruent. So when line segments have the same length or the angles have the same measure, they are congruent. So in a regular polygon, all the sides are congruent and all angles are congruent. So this is a pentagon because there's five sides. We can see that all sides are congruent. They're all four centimeters long. All of the angles are 108 degrees. And you can write measurements to show that they're um, all congruent. Right here is a not a regular polygon. And so not all the sides are the same length, which is congruent, and not all the angles are the same measure, which means they are not congruent. And so instead of spending all this time writing all these numbers, we can use um, some markings to show congruent sides. So this is a one tick on the side. That means that this side and that side are the same length. But you can see that these top ones have two ticks. That means that these two sides are the same length, but they are a different length from this first one. And it's the same thing with the angles. We can see that this bottom angle has one arc, and so those two angles are the same. And then these upper angles, or yeah, angles have two arcs, and so those two are the same. So they're congruent this way, but they are not the same measure as these ones. So let's look at the try this. And it says, label the Venn diagram to classify the polygons in each group. Then draw a polygon that belongs only to each group. So, <clears throat> our Venn diagram, we need to look at these. What shapes are these? Well, right here I can see there's a rectangle, a rectangle, a square, a triangle, a rhombus, and a hexagon. And let's start with what they are all similar. Okay, so these are regular polygons. That means that the sides and the angles are the same. And I can see that because this has one tick mark, one tick mark, one tick mark, one arc, one arc, one arc. Um, one angle measure on all of those and one tick mark on all sides. So those are regular polygons. So what do, all of, what do all of the shapes on this side have in common? Well, the sides are not congruent because that's one tick mark and this one's two tick marks. But if I look at their angles, the angles look like they're all the same. So this left circle is congruent angles. And then if I look on my right circle over here, I can see that the angles are different sizes, one arc and two arcs but the sides are the same length, one tick mark, one tick mark, and same thing here. 
this has more angles that are the same measure, but it's not all, not all of them are the same. But the sides are the same length. They are congruent. And so this side are congruent sides. So now that we have them labeled, so congruent angles, congruent sides, and then those in the middle are both, which makes them a regular polygon. The second set of directions was to draw a polygon that belongs to each group. So press pause and see if you can come up with um, some polygons that fit. This one, the sides need to be d different lengths, but the angles should be the same. This one, the sides and angles should be exactly the same in all of them. And on this side, the right side, the sides need to be the same length, but the angles need to be different. These are examples of polygons that I drew. I just drew another rectangle that was different length than these ones. And then um, in this one, they had already done a three and a four sided polygon, so I chose to just do a five. And I did my best to make them all the same length as I could. And then on this one is an X. And I know it's not super great, but I tried to keep them the same length in the sides. And so now we have our share and show. Which your share and show is on the two pages. So press pause and work through the share and show. Make sure that you read the directions so you know exactly how to answer. Looking at number one, it said to name the polygon, then use the markings on the figure to tell whether it is a regular polygon or not a regular polygon. Okay, so we need the name of this. How many sides are there? There are three. Tri means three, so that is a triangle. And are all the sides and angles congruent? Well, let's look. There's one tick mark, one tick mark, one tick mark. So the sides are congruent. Are the angles? One arc, one arc, one arc. Those are all the same, so they are also congruent. So the answer to that is yes. So because of all those markings, is the polygon a regular polygon? Yes, it is. Because both the sides and the angles are congruent. Moving on to the next page. You have two steps to do. Name each polygon, that's one, and then tell whether it is a regular polygon or not a regular polygon. So two steps. Number two, the first step is to name it. So how many sides are there? I always start at the top so that I don't count the same side more than once. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides, hex means six, so that is a hexagon. And to decide whether it is regular or not, are all my sides congruent? I see one tick mark on every single side, so they are all the same length. Are my angle measures the exact same? I only see one arc on all of them, so that means they are the same. That means that number two, the hexagon, is a regular polygon. If I look at number three, the first step is to name the polygon. So how many sides does it have? One, two, three, four. So four, quad means four. So this is a quadrilateral. And the next step is to decide whether it is a regular polygon or not. So let's start with the sides. Are all the sides congruent? One tick mark, two tick marks, one tick mark, two tick marks. I can see that this side and this side are the same length, but they are not the same as these. So I can stop right there. This is not a regular polygon because the sides are not congruent. And then looking at number four. First step is to name the polygon. How many sides are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight sides. Oct means eight, so this is an octagon. And then are all the sides congruent? I only see one tick mark on each side, so those are the same length. And I only see one arc on each angle, so that means they're all the same. That means that number four is a regular polygon.